Hello everyone, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. Um, I'm hoping today's video is a little bit um, longer. So right now my job is about an hour commute and on the way home the traffic is really bad so sometimes it takes a little longer to get home. Um, so getting to work, working all day, coming home, I really just don't have a whole lot of time to like do fun stuff after work, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but true. Um, however, today I'm working from home, so I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more, um, fun stuff going for you guys today. I was thinking actually on my break, going to the library and picking out all Christmas books. Um, I actually need to... Well, I don't need to. I want to try and get to 100 books by the end of the year. And I think I only have to read like 12 more books. Um, so, yeah, we'll see where that leads us. Um, right now, I'm trying to make the difficult decision of if I want to go make a chai or if I want to go to the local coffee shop and they have like coffee flights of all their seasonal drinks but there's been a couple of times that I've gotten coffee from them that I haven't super loved it so um currently trying to make that decision today um <clears throat> the kids just got ready to go to school and Justin's taking them over there right now um I realized that I showed their book advent last night uh, but they're going to be gone for the next two days, so um, they won't have, we won't have the advent on um, the vlog for the next couple days, um, but that's okay. I'll have a little bit more free time to do some stuff, um, so we'll see see where we, where we go from here. Um, I did get to start my advent knitting last night. Um, it is the Litmus Cowl by Jude Harper, Stranded Knitting. Um, wow. A provisional cast on as a tight knitter was a pain in the butt um, but I got it done and I read the pattern and it said to actually start with a contrast color so if you watched yesterday's vlog the skein that I caked up yesterday is the main skein um, I will show you what the my first contrast color looks like here in a minute but I just have a um, just a bag with all my minis that I'm using for this and I'm just gonna pick at random um, and we're gonna knit I think 10 rows <clears throat> 10 rows each on the between like the mini skeins and the main colorways so it should be a fun little project once it's done um, but anyway I hope you're all doing well how's vlogmas going have you guys been watching all the videos are you doing vlogmas um, let me know in the comments below flight of coffee from this coffee shop but I was looking at their menu and a lot of them had dairy in them or one of them was like an eggnog latte with like eggnog in it um, and I didn't want to be that person who's like can I make a bunch of modifications um, and I'm actually glad I didn't because they were training somebody new and she was like you're my first customer so I just got a gingerbread latte with oat milk um, and they had one vegan pumpkin muffin left so that is going to be my breakfast today um, but I'm really excited I'll show it to you guys when I get home
Okay, <laughs> as you might be able to see, I went on a little trip to the library on my lunch break here. Um, so I thought I would just share with you some of the books that I want to try and read this month. I have read 93 books this year. I am trying my darndest to get to 100. Um, and what better way than to do some festive, cozy holiday reading? So first up, and I literally just went to the library and I picked every book I could find with the little Christmas tab sticker. And I thought there'd be more, but there wasn't. But that's okay. So this one's called Jingle All the Way. This one's a large print. Um, I didn't exactly mean to get that, but it's got a little pop around the front, which I'm really excited about. I love, I love cozy reads more than, more than I think. Every time I pick up a book that's like really cozy, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. And are they going to be super cheesy and probably pretty predictable? Yes. Um, this one's called The Christmas Promise. Um... <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not going to have much to say about these because I also didn't read the back of any of them. Um, this is by Jasmine Gulleroy and I have read two books by her. One I DNF'd, one I finished and I actually really liked. And this is called The Royal Holiday. Um, she's an author that I, I have liked her writing style one time. The other time it was just very boring. I didn't like it very much. I'm excited to read that. I've been wanting to read this series. I can't remember what the first book is called, but I saw this one. It had the little Christmas sticker on the back. Um, it's called Christmas Caramel Murder. So this looks like a cozy mystery, which I'm all about. I'll probably try and read this one this weekend. Um, so I'm very excited. This one's called Christmas at Rosie Hopkins Sweet Shop. And it had the cute little mittens on the front and they're, they look like cookies. Um, which it's a sweet shop, so I'm using my common sense here. Um, this one's a little thick, so I don't know. Looks cute though. They all look cute. Um, <clears throat> this one is called Winter Street. This one looks like contemporary fiction, which is fine. Um, I like the cover. They all just look so sweet and fun, and I can't wait. I can't wait to read these. Um, some of these books I had on hold at the library, I have been, um, trying to read more poetry, which I think is also, like, a really good, like, winter, I, I associate poetry with, like, cozy comfort, and I don't, I realize not all poetry is, like, cozy, I realize some poetry is really, like, emotional and is meant to make you uncomfortable, but I thought this would be fun. Um, so this was, this one's called We Are Meant to Rise, and it's Voices for Justice from Minneapolis to the World. Um, I live pretty close to Minneapolis, um, so I thought it'd be nice to, to check that out. This one's called Prelude to Bruise. Um, I honestly don't remember what this was about. I just went on my library's website and got some poetry, um, so I think this will be nice. <clears throat> this was a renew, so I got this recently at the library one because this cover looks adorable. And this one's called The Art of Arranging Yourself. Well, actually, it's called Cozy. But then the little blurb says, The Art of Arranging Yourself in the World. Um, and I think this is going to be a good read. So I would like to read this it's pretty soon as well. Um, probably earlier in December. <clears throat> this is another poetry book. The Soul of Rumi. Um, don't know what it's about. But hopefully it's interesting. Uh, it says, a major all-new collection of unique Rumi poems from the best-selling author of The Essential Rumi. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if this is good. This one, I love this cover. I didn't see this, um, but once I picked it up from the library, it's beautiful. And even on the back, like, it's just really fun. Um, and this is called I Would Leave Me If I Could. And it says it's a collection of poetry by Halsey. And I wonder if this is, like the singer Halsey? Um, if it is, I'll be really surprised. Um, I think it is. I'll have to look into that. I'll put it on the screen if it is indeed Halsey Halsey. Um, <clears throat> this one also looks really fun too. This is a really cool uh, book and it's called Spine Poems, um, an eclectic collection of found verse for book lovers. So I really like this cover, which again, I did not see on the website. I probably would have gotten it anyway, but um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I've got. And like I said, I've read 93 books this year. If, if I were to read all of these, which is, that'd be a stretch. I would be 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I were to read all of these, I would end the year at 105 books. Do I think that's going to happen? 
Probably not. However, stranger things have happened. Um, I've got some water boiling on the stove for my pasta for my lunch, and I'm pretty sure I have to go back to work soon. So, um, yeah. I'm probably going to start with the um, caramel murder. What's, where is it? Christmas caramel murder. I think this is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start it today. Um, oof. Are you reading anything Christmassy? Do you read like Christmas books year round or only during the holiday? Have you ever read a Christmas book? It's my first year like really getting into the Christmas reading. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. 